Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Samax Code. And in this video guys, we're going to uh, discuss how we could apply uh, JavaFX property binding. So from the previous tutorial, we have created a simple project demo property and then we try to bind the, uh, I mean, we try to observe the property of this particular my number so we have a number property for our my number class like this so we have here the number property so we tried to add this inner to this number property and then set the value of the label status okay so if we try to run this we could see the result that if we try to click on the button it should display the values okay that we have like incremented from our uh, number property okay so now let's uh, again this video is all about JavaFX property binding so when we say uh, JavaFX property binding it allows us to you know synchronize the value of two properties so that whenever one of the properties uh, changes the value of other property is updated and of course guys we could apply this into you know different controls so for example the label has text property the text field has uh, this particular text property also and then we could implement like every time we type uh, type in uh, into our text field and then it, it should reflect the value to into our uh, label and of course, guys, in JavaFX binding, we have uh, two different types. We have the unidirectional binding. Okay, unidirectional binding, and of course, we also have bidirectional binding. So when we say unidirectional binding, it only means that we could only make the change from this particular control, and then the other control is uh, should reflect the value from this control. Okay, and then we could not uh change the value of the, uh, the the label and it will not reflect the changes into our button uh, but when we say bidirectional so so for example you have two buttons or uh, yeah two buttons here if you have like changed the property of your button here it should reflect also the other button and if this particular button right here uh like you change the text property it should also change the property of the uh, other button so let's try to implement that for you to better understand how this partic uh, particular JavaFX binding property works so we could uh, implement first a very simple explanation or very simple um, implementation of JavaFX binding property so say so for example we have a text field we would add a text field right here and then as I've said before or a while ago that uh, we could try to type in in this particular text field and then of course the changes should reflect into this label okay so to do that so let's just add a ID for this text field so this will be tf and then we could say test press enter and then save our file and then we could go back to our project demo property and then we could generate the controller again so we have here the text field tf test okay so we can you know bind the property of text field into the uh, status label okay so let's try that um tf test and then we could uh, specify the text property because as i've said the text field has this text property okay and then we could bind this text property with the other uh, text property okay so label status has text property also so we could use that and then say um, text property so let's try this and we could uh, build or clean and build first our project 
uh, and then run. Okay, so we have here the label. So if you try to press the button right here, uh, it should you know reflect the changes of the label itself. So as you can see here. So the text property of label changes and of course the text field also text property change. But we can do this the other way around. So for example, as I've said, if we want to type something here, it should reflect in our text field or I mean in our label. So let's go ahead and reverse this. Instead of using the uh, status here, it should go here and then status here and TF test here. Okay. And then we could save this. And then run okay so now we don't have value for our, for our label so we could you know type in here um, hello world and as you can see the property or text property of label changes based on the text property of our text field so that's what we call the unidirectional binding so we could only change the value of these two by using this particular um, text property of our text field okay and actually guys we could you know take this into another level by using the progress bar so let's try that let's try using progress bar so let's add the progress bar element okay And then we could also add the progress indicator. Okay. So we will add another button right here for our uh, demo. Okay. This button will try to increment the value of our number so i will just um, text the text property or i mean the text here plus symbol and then the other one is minus symbol okay and we could add also the id for this so code and then the id is btn uh, minus or something btn minus and then on the action event, I'm just going to declare another or create another method. So, so for example, btn click to. So I'm going to define that in this particular um, video. So let's go ahead and go back to our demo property project and then clean, uh, right click our main.fxml file and then make a controller. So at this point, guys, we could also add the ID for our progress indicator and progress bar. So we could open up our main.fxml file. And then we have to add the progress, or I mean the ID for this, progress indicator. So I'm just going to name it as progress bar or PB. And then we could say progress. Okay. So that's PB and then progress. And I'm going to do the same into our progress indicator. So I'm just going to name it as PI and then progress. So PI means progress indicator. So I'm just going to save this, guys. And go back to our NetBeans IDE and right-click our main.fxml file and then make a controller. And then as you can see, we have, uh, you know, generated the annotation for our progress bar and progress indicator. So for now, I'm just going to comment this one out, the status set property into the text field. And then I'm going to bind the property or progress property of our progress bar into the my number property. So that's uh, PB progress and then progress property. And as I've said, we're going to bind it with the uh, my number or number property from the my number class or bin that we have created from the previous tutorial so my num 
and then bind or the number property that we have defined under this class A. And of course, we also need to bind the other one, the progress indicator. So that's PI progress. So it's going to, or the progress property should be bind into, or should be bound into the number property of, of the MyNum also. Now, we also have defined this BTN click tool. So we have to, you know, set the value or decrement the value. Okay. And then like this. And of course, it's not going to increment. So that's why we need to replace this with the minus symbol. And instead of one, uh, maybe we could, you know, have this like 0 0.05. Okay, 0 0.05. And the same thing with the uh, increment, it should be 0 0.05. So that's basically, I think, 5% of the total progress of the progress bar and the progress indicator. So we could save this, guys. We could, you know, build and run or clean and build our project. And, of course, run our project once again. And it should, you know work as expected so we could click on this and as you can see it's progressing like five percent of the total progress and you can see here the value okay so six point or six five and then seven okay so you could also decrement that and as you can see guys all the elements um the property of the progress bar and the progress indicator and of course the uh, label is bounded to the um, number property of the my number class that we have uh, defined from the previous video okay so that's how powerful and how uh, that's how we can you know uh, bound or bind the properties of each of these controls okay so i think uh, that's all there is to it guys for this tutorial and i hope uh, it's clear to you but, you know, if you have questions regarding properties, I am open to questions. You can comment down below for more questions about properties and how you can, you know, bind it into the other properties. Okay, so I think that's all guys and thank you for watching and see you in the next video.